Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend Kuros Paladin. Hello, everybody. And in our last episode, I had gone around and collected some hydrazine because I made a big mistake. I packed up everything on uh, on Vasania before I was actually ready to leave. I packed up my large rover, and I just I wasn't ready to leave Vasania yet. So what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack it back up. We're going to go back to Vasania, and we're going to get to the core. We're going to get to the core of this thing, all right? Uh, I'm going to take two of them, because I want to repack. So, I believe I borrowed this from our buggy, so we'll return it to the buggy. Uh, oh, we got a battery on here. Um, just put it there for the time being. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pack this up. And take it, put it back on our shuttle. Because now we have more than enough hydrazine to get around. Alright. So I also want... I don't need all of these RTGs now back on Vasania. I do want the paver and the drill. I don't need the medium rover, but I do want one RTG. So I'm going to take that as well. So I should have everything I need. The last thing I'm going to do... I'm going to grab all of this graphite because I may need it to pack a whole bunch of stuff back up. And then just because I can, I'm going to fill up with packagers because that's the whole reason I'm taking it. I have graphene on the planet, so I should be okay uh, once I get there. There we go. Okay. So I've got my canisters. I've got my large rover. I've got the drill, the paver. I've got yet another packager right there, but I don't have space for it. Um, I'm curious what would happen if I just left it, like, stuck right there. I don't know what would happen, but anyhow. Um, whoa! That was weird. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Now we're getting into some weird stuff here. Put that back down. I love how you can just pick up an entire shuttle and just move it around. Oh, Hulk Astroneer! Okay. Um... So I have everything I need back on Vasanya. We've got plenty of hydrazine. We're pretty much full. So let's go ahead. We're going to head back, and we're going to hit the core of uh, Vasanya this episode. And we're going to do it the fast way, because we're just going to drill right to the core using the rover. And I probably should have just taken the small or the medium rover as opposed to uh, the large one. But I've already launched, so I am going to do what I have already started to do. Once you've started a bad idea, just follow it all the way through, right? Alright, now where's our base? I don't see the beacon. <laughs> or orbiting Vasania, but but uh, it's no fun because it's really boring. There's our base. Okay. Nah, cloud's getting in the way again. Come on. There we go. I really should put a landing pad down somewhere. Because this. I call it a base, but hmm, it's not much. Yeah. Just a couple platforms and a bunch of organic on the ground. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get that rover. Oh, rover, oh, rover, come on over. Uh, a seat for it. So we'll go right there, I suppose. An RTG to power it up. And then we can just take this and drop it right on there. And then uh, the two canisters. I'm going to put them on the back. There we go. And then I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of junk as I go down there. So I'm wondering if it's worth grabbing one of these medium storages. Actually, I could leave this here. I don't need that where I'm going. 
but I'm wondering if I should, just in case I do find something useful down there, like some more graphite or aluminum or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move compound over to here. I'm going to grab this one, put it there. And then the graphite, well, I've got, here's what I could do. Up. Oh. Well, no, I can't. There, now I can. I can just build some more medium storage. And then I can grab this one. Okay. And do I need one more? Probably. And sure. Okay. Well, that's printing. Let's go ahead and get our drill and our paver in place. Excellent. I still have one more packager on backpack, so we'll just drop that there for the time being. And finally, so I can fill up on all the organic I could ever not want. And I say that, and then there's going to be a point where it's like, my kingdom for organic. This is something that I just like to do, uh, pick that up. I just like that little shield. There's something weird about driving right, you know, sitting right next to one of those things that just feels like... Uh, is my little guy ever going to have kids after this? So, is he ever going to make little astroneers? Okay, anyhow. So, my cave entrance is very inconvenient. I think this is it. Yep. But for whatever reason... Okay, hang on. F to get out. Oh, okay. The, they are hooked up. All right. I thought the tethers were not connected. All right. So this is going to be really tight cramp quarters going down. Because this was not drilled with the... There we go. Whoa. Boom. Okay. So I am going to have to do this. Let's at least get uh, some semblance of a flat area that I can turn around down here. And that is not flat whatsoever, so let's try this. That looks a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit to start with. Because, uh... Come on, I just want something flat-ish. Oh, that's right, there's a new... That's right, where is it? Um, there's a new item. Uh, I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's in the... in here? But there's like a true flat item or something along those lines now. I don't know where it's at though. Maybe, and I'm I'm hoping it's not only creative. But there's that, and then there's like a little uh, thing that you can hold stuff in. Um, I don't know where they're at though. If they're things you build or if they are things. Narrow mod, alignment. I don't know if it's in the alignment mod or not. I mean, that would be the logical place for it, but... It's not in any of those, unfortunately. Alright, I'll have to figure that out later. Alright, let's get, let's get back to trying to get something a little bit flat here. So... Come on, this shouldn't be this difficult. 
How about that? I could just keep drilling straight down all the way, but I like to have switchbacks. This looks good, but I'll bet... yeah, eh, it's not terrible. Okay. Grab you. Come on. F. There we go. I do like that. That's a nice quality of feature that you can just toggle the drills now. So that it doesn't matter if they're equipped on your drill or on your train tool. Still not perfect, but it's good enough to get around a corner, I suppose. And then this would probably be the better direction, so. Um. And I have a cat who is being extremely affectionate. I love my kitties, and for some reason, one of them has become extremely um, attentive. She just demands my attention all the time. Okay, this is never going to be perfect, so I'm just going to give up on it right here. So let's put this back to more or less where it was. Which is, that is not at all what it was. <sighs> all right. Get around this corner. All right. All right. Now we're making headway. Don't go too fast. There we go. I want to grab these research, because they're worthful. They're worthful? What, are, what is that? Is that even a word, worthful? Alright, something that sort of resembles flat here. Eh, not too bad. I want to be able to turn the vehicle around. Because, yeah, I, like I said, I could just go straight to the center. Oh. I could just go straight to the center, but... Oh, my goodness. Going straight to the center would, uh... Oh, it would be faster, I suppose. Alright. What's the OCD in me? Just use the drill to flatten this all out. I should have done that up above. Alright. Ooh, lithium. Lots of nice lithium. And look at that. Just building up a stock of lithium there. That's pretty cool. So that's something that's useful. I think I just skipped one layer. I 
guess I could just use the vehicle to do my turnarounds. to the biome level of Asania. Lithium, yay! I don't think I'll have any issues with lithium and titanium. Oop, and all the roots of whatever these plants are. Let's go ahead, we'll make another. I'm assuming these are 90 degree turns, but I'm not 100% certain. Oh, there's the core. Okay, so... I do not want to get the vehicle to the core. I've seen bad things happen when you get vehicles to cores. So I want to build just a road over to here, more or less. that, put this away. Oh, I didn't mean to attach it to the side, that's funny. What's this? Oh, there's a generator stuck in the, stuck in there, like permanently fused into that. Oh well. Okay, um, now here's what I forgot. I didn't bring an oxygenator, so this is going to have to be a really quick run. Um, but something else that I want to do is I do not want the vehicle to fall down here. So I'm going to build this wall. Or guardrail, or whatever you want to call it. Oh. Oh. Dark and scary. Somebody give me a hug, I'm lonely. Okay, there we go. Alright, um... Ugh. Okay, I don't know what's going on, why my fingers are just not behaving. <laughs> Ooh, big ol' hole there, okay. So I'm gonna build out to that. Okay. And then, even though I hope I have enough tethers to do this. Well, okay, I'll just have to leave a tether on the one so I remember where to come back at. Okay. But this won't take long at all because it's already cut through for me. Oh, look at that. I picked one of the poles. How convenient. So I only have two choices. That makes it much easier. Gosh, what, are the, what were the odds of that? So here's the thing, folks. I just remembered something. I made it all the way down here. Guess what I forgot to bring down with me? The stuff to activate this core. Ah. Uh, okay. 
So, grumble, grumble, grumble. Alright, we're gonna take a tether. We're just gonna drop it right there so I remember which way. So I'm gonna head all the way back up to the surface and grab the graphene because that's what's required for this particular core. Come on. All right, we've got to build a ramp. A little bit steeper than that, probably. Probably like that. There we go. Well, that might be a little bit too steep. There, that should do it. This minute. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, I have to go all the way back up to the surface. Because it is that I messed up big time. Alright. Let's take care of this mess, though. I really don't want to lose the rover at the core. So I want just a barrier here to prevent that from happening. Okay. And then here, let's just cover this up. Where's the ramp come down? Right there. Okay. There. That should keep the rover from getting, uh, getting lost to the core. Because I've seen what happens is it ends up like in a virtual orbit and it's just next to impossible to get it out of this orbit. Alright, good enough. I don't know how many times I'm going to be bringing vehicles down here. It's such tight quarters, it's difficult to get the camera just right. Not a bad haul either. Quite a bit of lithium, a little bit of titanium. See, I'll just do that from now on. I'll just let the vehicle build my turnarounds. 
just did not occur to me. Or switchbacks. This one I went the other direction, right? Yep. Alright, and then up here, I think what I'm going to do... I'm just going to plow through. There we go. I make my own. There. Okay, well we're back to the surface, yay. Vasania Base Alpha. Alright, so I needed three graphene. Let me drop off that. One, two, three. I can leave the um, uh, ladder right there. Um, my goodness. Just, wow, plenty of organic here. Okay. All right, so now I have what I needed. So now let's go back down. And I am going to have to, at one point, widen this tunnel, just this part. I'd use the current paver and drill, but then I'd uproot all of my tethers. Whoa! Well, at least I landed okay. Grab these. Some nice research there. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Okay. I just gotta watch that I don't go off one of these edges. Get slow, slow down. There we go. It's like a water slide. Except water slides usually have edges on them to keep you from going over the side. you're worth quite a bit of research if I remember. So I'm going to take you back to the surface. Um, well, maybe I won't. Nope, I guess I won't because I don't have any way to put you on the vehicle without leaving something behind. So the roots, I think, was the last. So the next one was the core.
And this is where gravity is getting wonky. Yay! Okay, we made it. I'm gonna get rid of that. There we go. Alright, so down we go. So let's go ahead and we're going to put in the first required research. Or resource. And we get our geometric trip tech. Or trip tyke. Actually, yeah, you can wander on that now. And there it is! Yay! out to the unknown satellite. So I'm still missing... Is that Kalidor? So, if I look at these symbols... I've got this one, whatever this one is right here, I'm, I think I'm missing. Yeah. So I'm missing that one. But there we go. So I've got one, two, three, four of the seven. And my guess is this is... Um, Novus, the moon. Alright, so let's head back to good old Vasania, which is going to be this one. I call it the it's a little people planet because it looks like three little head and shoulder icons in a triangle. So it's the people's planet. Thump. Where's my tether? There it is. Uh, what am I stuck on? Weird. Okay, that was weird. Let's just move that. There we go. All right. All right, head back to the surface. And, well, we spent a lot of time going back for our toothbrush run. Because that's my infinite wisdom where I am not entirely prepared. I am not by any means a Boy Scout. <laughs> so I'm not always prepared. Okay. Uh, right over here. Hup, hup. And get the gravity back. There we go. Somehow I had to get all this wonderful lithium back to Sylvia. Because, oh my goodness, with all of that, that could be a lot of RTGs, and I am going to need more once I get to uh, the other planets. All right, back to the surface.
But yeah, lithium, titanium, got a lot of the ingredients I need right there for RTGs. I also need argon, iron, um, carbon, got plenty of organic here. Um, because a titanium alloy, which is then combined, so that's titanium and Uh, titanium and I can't remember what the other thing is. Steel, which is iron and carbon and argon. Helium, which is the uh, titanium alloy something and helium to get the nanocarbon alloy. Hydrazine, which is required to get um, the graphene, that's it, I think it was graphene and titanium uh, that does the titanium alloy. It takes a lot of resources to get that nanocarbon alloy, but once you can start cranking it out, you're golden. It's just a long process. Make the turn to the surface. And there we go. Will it be daylight up here? Yeah, I definitely had to make this tunnel wider. I don't think I was planning on bringing a large rover down here. I should have brought the medium rover, but alas. There we go, okay. Daylight! Oh, how nice to see daylight. Okay. Actually, with the daylight, I can do this, too. So, let's come back over to here. I can actually build... Oh. I don't need that. Okay. Can actually build an exit ramp that's a little bit more friendly. So just go right up to here. And then more or less flatten out. Okay, that's good enough. Does not have to be anything perfect. I don't really have enough tethers down here to make it too big of a deal that I'd uproot them, but it'd probably be faster to just do this. And as opposed to using the drill, and then putting all the tethers down again. Plus it doesn't look as artificial. RTG connect I guess I don't have the RTG connected up above, that's why. Okay. That kind of worked out kind of neat because it's also kind of like right on the crossroads across the planet here. I don't know why I keep doing that. Turn that off.
off there. Okay. I know I said it wasn't that big of a deal, but now my OCD is getting to me. Alright, where did I leave the vehicle? Way over there. Anybody remember where we parked? Okay. This thing has pretty good suspension, right? Okay, now I am obsessing. It must be perfect. Or at least somewhat smoother than this. Do, do, do. Trial by error, right? How's that? Much better, okay. 40 minutes later, still trying to level out the intersection. All right, so I have all this wonderful lithium, but I have no way to take it back home. Um, so let's see, unless I put you up there like so, I leave you here, um, put you back up there, flatten you out, so I'll need that to stay behind put that there temporarily so I need to pack you up and you I just thought when I put it on the ground there can I pack up the planet you know just set it on the ground and whoosh, pack up the entire planet don't think it works that way. Oh, my canisters. I will want those. However, I'm going to lose the soil in them. I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um, it really isn't that big of a deal. And I had to pack that up. So... Packagers. Pack up RTG last, since I'm going to need its power. Come here. And we'll just leave this I'll leave a full bundle of tethers behind. Um, okay, this is a little bit annoying because I, I need an oxygenator on this planet because that's what also transfers power. Okay, so put you down there, put you over there. Where'd that last packager go? Shoop. Okay. Alright, so we're done on Vasania for the time being. I can't take any of this research back home with me at the moment. Because I've got the large rover taking up the entire trunk of my car. So, let's go ahead. We're going to head back to Sylvia, and that will be where we will say it's another good day 
We had a very productive day of our astroneer. Doing the things that an astroneer does. Although sitting next to that um, RTG for that long, like I said, I'll probably never have little astroneers now. Well, maybe the suit protects them. We'll see. Yay, and we don't have to wait for the base to come all the way over the horizon. And I will try to remember, I should have read the patch notes a little closer about the new... Uh, there's something that allows you to stack scrap, so it makes scrap collecting a little bit easier. And then there was something about uh, the level tool, um, where you can get more or less true flat. Um, basically by... Uh, you put down like a block that will be truly flat to the geometry of the planet. So even though wherever you're at may not be flat, it will be flat to the geometry of the planet. So it won't be perfect, but uh, where's my smelter? Let's go ahead and smelt this titanium. The other stuff will just stay as is. the lithium, so actually I can, well, what I should have done. Okay. Lithium, I'll have so much darn lithium now. I don't know if I'll ever need more for the remainder of the game, because I think the only thing it's used for is RTGs uh, and medium batteries, and are in batteries, and, well, I haven't built a single battery yet, so I'm going to uh, utilize some overflow space over here. Okay. And then that titanium. All right. I'm wandering around in circles here. Um, let me drop off over here. Right? Yeah, over here is where I had all that. So the RTG, the drill, the that's a canister, a paver. So actually, what I would like to do, take these two. I want to put the two canisters with this. And then the two RTGs will go somewhere else. Um, actually, one of those RTGs I'm going to unpack and leave here. Because I would like to have two here. There we go. Okay, the one black sea urchin. Another one of our trophies. So our four of seven. There we go. Let's see. So I think I've got the base more or less organized before I'm done for the night. Our little guy can go and sleep in his tiny little shelter here. I don't know if there's a shelter, a bath, a toilet, everything in this tiny little thing for the little guy. What's inside there? We can't even see, can we? Nope. Is there a way to... Nope, we can't even clip through the geometry. But uh, that's where our little guy spends his time, I suppose. So, everybody, I hope you had a great time um, watching the episode. Let's go ahead and put our dragon egg on and see if we get a dragon out of it. Um, so, I hope you had a great time with the episode. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see some of my other content that I come out with. I do some Cities Skylines stuff. And hopefully in the near future, when they get things sorted out, I can go back to doing City of Heroes as well. There's just a little bit of a hiatus there, but that will hopefully sort itself out in the future. So everybody, I hope you had a great time. I'll see all of you in the next episode of Astroneer. Take care and bye.